Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, how are you today? I'm fine too. Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Galmasid, and you, you, you all can call me Elmas. I come from Sukomulyo, and I study at SMP Ngulan Zainul Hasan Genggong. Standing here, I would like to tell the story. The title is Timun Emas. Long time ago, live an old woman named Bo Sirni. She lived by herself because her husband had long passed away and she had no children. Every day, she prayed to God to give her a child. Oh my God, I'm sure he will give me a child. I always try to be patient waiting it. So please answer my prayer. Amen. One night, when she was prayer, a giant named Buto Ijo passed her house and heard her prayer. Ha 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 ha. I will give what do you want? I can give you a child. But on one condition, you must give the child back to me. When she is six years old. Mbok Sini was so happy. She didn't think about the risk of losing the child later and agreed to take giants over. Then Buto Ijo gave her a bounce of cucumber seeds. Mbok Sini, plant it around your house. Thank you so much, Butoijo. Thank you. Thank you. Not longer after that, a golden cucumber grew from the plants. And then, in hurry, Mbotsiri plucked the golden cucumber and quit home gravely. Ah! The cucumber is very heavy. Where is the knife? Ah, this is. Wow. Oh my God. This is a beautiful baby girl. Thanks God. Thanks. I will give you a special name. Mm. Because you were born from golden cucumber. Timun emas. Yes, you are Timun emas. I love you so much. Years passed by. And Timun emas had grew. To become a lovely and beautiful little girl. And then, she was also smart. And Kai, Mbo Sirni, loved her very much. But she kept thinking about the time the giant Buto Ijo won't take Timut Mas away from her. What should I do if Buto Ijo take Timut Mas back? I don't want it to happen. One night, Mbo Sirni had a dream, and in the next morning, Mbo Sirni told Timun Emas about her dream. A few days later, Buto Ijo came to see Mbo Sirni again for about her promise. Ha 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 ha! Mbo Sirni. Where is Timun Mas? I will take her back. 
Ha 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 ha. Si putu ijo. Indui, mbo sil mi se. My doctor, take this bag with you. It can, it can save you from the giants. Now you must be run. Go, run. Say it, mbo sil mi. But. Buto Ijo saw the Timun mass running to the woods. Timun mass, where will you go? Don't flee, said Buto Ijo, full anger. And then, shock and enraged, Buto Ijo rushed toward Timun mass. And then, Buto Ijo was getting closer and closer. So, Timun Emas opened the first bag. Inside the bag, there were cucumber seeds. She threw the seeds and instantly, they grew into a large cucumber wheel. But Buto Ijo ate them all, giving him more strength. Timun Emas! Wait, I'll catch you. Timun Emas then opened the next bag and spilled the salt inside. The girl with the salt touch turned into a deep sea. Buto Ijo almost drowned and he had to swim and to cross the sea. Buto Ijo helpless, he rolled out. Help! Help! Then, Buto Ijo is drowned and dead. Then, Timun Emas come to home. My doctor, are you okay? I'm very happy you came back home safely. Said Mbo Sirni. Yes, ma'am. I came back. Do you know? Buto Ijo is dead, said Timun Mas. Since then, Timun Mas and Bo Sini live happy ever after. Maybe that's all my storytelling. And thank you very much for your nice attention. And the last I say, Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.